This is week four, workout two, let's do this. So just make sure you've got plenty of space in your lounge or wherever it is you're doing this. And we're just gonna take a warm up, guys from there nice and easy, feet about hip width apart. And we're just gonna take a small bounce side to side, keeping the heels up, good work. And just gradually gonna increase the range of motion with this. So as you feel warmer, you can go a little bit further. Good stuff, just relax the arms into it. And then from there, take a jog on the spot. Good stuff. So today we're gonna to be doing a speed step as well. So we're just gonna preempt this and do it in the warm up so we're comfortable with it before we get to it. So from there guys, nice and easy on the spot. We're just gonna go out, out, in, in. One, two, three, four. Bam, bam, bam. Good stuff. So it's always one foot out, the other foot out. One foot in, other foot in, simple. Now we're just gonna take the speed up just a little bit, just 10, 20% from there. Good work. Another 10 seconds here. Try not to think about what your legs are doing as well. As soon as you think about it, it'll all go wrong. Good stuff, back to jogging on the spot again. Good work. And then this time, just start to bring your heels up about six inches more, or all the way further if you feel warm enough as well, that works too. Good stuff. Another 10 seconds here. And then just start to bring the knees up in front of you this time instead. So again, you should be breathing a little bit heavier by now. Good work, keeping the heels up throughout. Nice job. Take it down. So we're still jogging on the spot, nice and gently. And now I just want you to add a punch into it while you're going. So we're gonna get the upper body warm as well. Good stuff, 10 seconds here. Good work. And then bring it back to a jog again. Nice and small. And again, we're gonna do the speed step again, but we're gonna go a little bit faster this time. So out, out, in, in. So if you can, try and find a spot on the floor. Use that as your center point. Good work. So again, don't have to go too wide with this either. Just wanna be a comfortable distance. Good work. Go on a little bit faster, a little bit more. Stuff. Then from there, come back to bounce. So feet about hip width apart, and then just bouncing from side to side. Good stuff, legs should be starting to warm up now. And then forwards and back in unison. Nice job. And then coming back to a job on the spot. Again, add the punches in, quick 10 seconds, but we're starting to go a little bit faster now. Starting to get warmer. Good work. And relax the arms. Quick jog, heels right the way back up to your backside this time now. Work, legs should be ready. Arms, upper body starting to get warmer as well. And now knees up, you can go a little bit higher. Looking about 10 seconds here. Should be slightly breathless, should be ready to go. So just gently take it down there. We're gonna go into burpees and then we're gonna go straight into our speed steps that we covered in the warm up. So guys, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and we're gonna do the first two exercises three times through. So when you're ready, everybody warm? Yeah. Let's go 30 seconds of burpees. Any option you wanna go for with these. Right, let's get to it. 30 seconds, let's go. So option wise, we can go low impact, we can go higher impact as well. As you can see, plenty of options from our guys here. You can go belly to the floor, add the push-up in there. You don't have to. We want something that's gonna challenge you, but you are gonna be able to maintain it. Guys, good work, another 10 seconds. If you are doing this at home and it gets too much, you can do the walking burpee that we covered in week two. Good work. And time, recover. So take a second. Do you wanna do it without next time? Right, good, another 15 seconds off, and then move on to speed steps. So guys, you may have the same problem at home that you haven't got that much grip, especially if you're using mats as well. Go with what's safest. Exactly it. Ready? Right, 30 seconds, let's go. So out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. 
Good, so we wanna make this cardio, we wanna make this a little bit harder as well. So if you can go faster, go for it. And as you do, just sink into a little bit. As you bend your knees, you're gonna bring the emphasis into the glutes more and the hamstrings. Good, 10 seconds more. Go a little bit faster if you can. Start to ramp it up. Good work, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Awesome. <laughs> so we've gone that high, we're gonna do the same thing again next time. So we're back to burpees. So if one of you guys wanted to do a walking burpee just to demonstrate, that would really help as well. So we'll show you the easier option that you can come to if you need to with the burpees. So another 10 seconds. Yeah. Right, let's get to it. As soon as you're ready, 30 seconds, let's go. Or just walk the legs back one at a time, that's it. Good stuff. So again, with the walking burpee, you can do the jump. You don't have to do the jump. It's completely up to you what option you take. It should be a challenging exercise and it's gonna work every muscle in the body. Guys, well done. Got another 10 seconds, keep it going. Any option you want to. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> good stuff. So again, 30 seconds off, always good to grab some water. Take your time, and then we're back to the speed steps again. So where we're, we gradually ramped it up last time, you could go a little bit higher this time to start off with. See how long you can last for 30 seconds. No pressure. <laughs> Stand by, five seconds. Three, two, one, same thing. So out, out, in, in, faster, faster. So you wanna hear it light, but you can still hear it go bum, 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 bum. Keeping the heels up, good work. Excellent, guys, well done. 15 seconds. So try and keep the intensity here if you can. Speed increase is gonna work the heart and lungs more, and the lower you go, the more it's gonna work your butt. Good job, five seconds. Keep going. And recover. Excellent. 30 seconds is a very long time. <laughs> so we've got one more rotation through. So again, with burpees, speed steps, and then we're on to the second set of exercises. Nicely done, guys. Five whole seconds to recover. Last time through, any option you want to do with the burpees. Let's go, 30 seconds. A harder option, which we hadn't discussed, was adding a twist to it as well, which you guys can do. If you are gonna go for this, make sure you're comfortable with doing the burpees and try and keep your hip, feet hip width apart when you're doing it. And time, cover there. 30 seconds off, take your time, get the air in the lungs, shake it off a little bit as well. If you can keep moving in between sets, this will help as well, because it will help your body to process the acid that's just accumulated from the exercises. Okay, last time through, speed steps. So the key to this is trying to switch your mind off. As soon as you think about what your legs are doing, it starts to go wrong. So guys, five seconds. Again, out, out, in, in. The lower you go, the more the work gets into your butt. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds. Good stuff. So to make it harder, you can sink a little bit more. Good work. And think about the pattern your feet are making. Try and speed it up a little bit if you can. Good work, 15 seconds left. Excellent, get as many in as you can. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And breathe, recover. Awesome. So the first two exercises are done. We're moving on to the next two next. So we're moving on to the next two exercises for the next superset. Right, we've got a crawl push-up combo and then we're gonna do a twisting plank. So loads of options with this. This is a harder option exercise. It's a crawl and a push-up put together. So we've covered both exercises previously. We're just gonna put them together now. So when you guys are ready, push-up position, knees or toes, however you wanna do it. As soon as you're ready, crawl first, let's go. So elbow, elbow, hand, hand, single push up. Lovely. So you can see they've gone straight off on the toes. 30 seconds is gonna be a long time for this exercise. 
So if you want to cut back to your knees at any point, you can. This is a difficult exercise to do. Good work, guys. Halfway through. Keep it going. Excellent. Five seconds left. Good work. Ground out those last couple of reps. And time. Great effort. Well done. So again, 30 seconds off, twisting planks next. So it's only three times through. You guys went straight in a harder option, so cut it back if you need to next time. Brilliant. So from there, key thing with this, we're keeping the core braced. We're gonna come into a push-up position and then we're just rotating up into a side plank. So we're gonna use the whole body. So as soon as you guys are ready, 30 seconds on. So just lift up and twist. And then same thing with the other side. Good work. So if this is too tough, we can cut this back and you can go onto your knees. So as you rotate onto one knee, you can straighten the other leg. Halfway through guys, well done. And the options with your feet, you can stay on the balls of your feet or you can rotate onto the blades of your feet, which I personally find easier, but it is personal preference. Good work and time. Take a second. Again, cross, then single push up again. So that's second time through. So the options with this, you can go off easy and gradually build the intensity, or you can go for the kill option and go straight in at the hardest option and see if you can hold on for the three sets. So no gray area, I know what you guys have gone for already. <laughs> right, push up position when you're ready. Let's go, 30 seconds. Good stuff. <laughs> Nicely done. The other thing is try and alternate elbows as well. Try and think about which elbow you went down with first and then do a different one the next time through. It will make a difference. Good stuff, guys. 10 seconds left. Keep it going. Last few reps. Five seconds. Two, one, and recover. Good work. So everything should be a little bit tighter this time through, a little bit heavier. Nicely done. So twisting planks next. And again, you get another 15 seconds to recover. Take your time, get some fluids on if you need to. Another few seconds. Just use the time getting air in the lungs. Front support position when you're ready. 30 seconds, let's go. Nice work. So the main thing is we stay tight through the core, through the midsection. So think about control and form with this. Go slowly, keep everything as tight as you can. Good work guys, well done. 10 seconds left. Good stuff. Three, two, one, and recover. So back to it. So again, crawl and then push-ups. So this is gonna be a challenging set because both exercises are based for your core. The main thing is to keep everything tight. If you feel your back start to sag at any point, go to a knees option. Keep your form. Okay, a couple of deep breaths. Front support position when you're ready. And let's go, 30 seconds. So last time through, it's gonna to be toughest. Just keep it going. Try and maintain that intensity all the way through. Well done. Good job, team. It's gonna challenge you. It's gonna be tough. These are the reps that count the most though. 10 seconds left, guys. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nicely done. So it's great. Everything was tight. Cores were braced all the way through. Can't ask for more. Okay, last time. Twisting planks. So another 15 seconds off again. A few deep breaths. Remember the knees are an option as well. Up to you guys. When you're ready, front support position. Lock everything in tight. Pull that belly button in. As soon as you're ready, let's go 30 seconds. If you are doing this with someone, try and make sure you go the same way at the same time. If not, keep your hands up, ready. 
<laughs> Good stuff. Halfway through, guys. Well done. 10 seconds. Lovely form. Three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. So take a couple of seconds. If you want to bring yourself to your feet as well, shake everything off. We're going depth jumps next. So get some fluids on. So you get depth jumps, more into the legs and glutes. You're going to get a little bit of a breather from your core, and then we're doing bicycle crunches. So you can recover with depth jumps. Yeah, just make sure you've got a bit of space, really. And because we're going to need them for the next exercise. Yeah. Right, as soon as you're ready, let's go 30 seconds. So sink into it, jump up. So take your feet wider than hip width. You want the weight into the heels. Good. Now this is a challenging exercise. This is one of the harder ones that we're doing for this. So don't feel you have to jump every time. Cut it back to a normal squat if you need to. If you want an intermediate option, just come up onto the balls of the feet rather than jumping. Good work. And recover, time. Nice work. Okay, so moving on to bicycle crunches next. Just make sure you've got a bit of space. From there, options, you can have your feet up or you can put your feet on the floor. And then we're just twisting the opposite elbow to the knee. So 30 seconds on team. As soon as you're ready, go. Good stuff. So they're all going for the harder option again. If you want to, you can keep your legs bent and just touch your foot down in between. Absolutely fine. You'll still be using the same muscles and you'll still be getting good intense exercise. Nicely done guys, halfway through. Also, they're keeping their shoulders up throughout, which is fantastic. That's what we want to do. Again, if this is too hard, you can drop down slightly. Take a recovery in between each rep. And time. Nice work. So we're back to depth jumps. So don't get too comfortable down there. Take a second. Again, make sure you've got plenty of space for this as well. Be very aware of where you're landing because you could move just a little bit each time and end up tracking into your sofa without realizing. So just something to be aware of. Good work. Okay. So feet slightly wider than the hip width, weight into the heels. As soon as you're ready, 30 seconds, let's go. So again, plenty of options. You can see the guys using their arms just to push their chests up as they're doing it. Brilliant. 20 seconds left, keep it going team. So our key things, the weight we're in the heels, chest is staying lifted as well. 10 seconds left, keep it going. These are the most important reps when it starts to become the most challenging. Two, one, and recover. 30 seconds off. Again, we're back to the bicycle crunches. So again, fluids if you need to. Take a second. Recover. Collapse. But prepare. So again, decide what option you guys want to do as well. If it was too challenging last time, maybe cut it back a little bit. Completely up to you main thing is to complete the exercise. So, log the abs in tight, 30 seconds. Let's go, as soon as you're ready. Good stuff. The other thing to think about as well, as you get tired, you're gonna to start to pull on your neck as well. So try and go fingertips just to your temples, rather than go behind the head and really pull on the head. Just something to bear in mind as you get tired. Good work, guys. Keep it going, another 10 seconds. stuff five seconds and time well done so that's twice through one more time so bring yourself up depth jumps next make sure you've got plenty of space and again another 10 seconds just take the time get the air in the lungs prepare Set yourselves up, five seconds left. And 30 seconds, sink into it and go. Good stuff. Awesome, guys, well done. 
great job. So you don't have to go too deep with these either. The goal is to get some air. Good job, five seconds left, keep it going. Three, two, one, and recover. Third set's always the best. So if you are feeling your legs are heavy, take some time, just march on the spot, keep moving and try and get the acid cycled out the legs. Some people will find this more challenging than others. It's a difficult exercise. Okay, last time, bicycle crunches. Okay, five seconds. So legs into position. As soon as you're ready, 30 seconds on, let's go. Good work. So again, another option. Slight pause in between and a tap down in between as well. So many options to go with with this, but every single one of them is gonna work your core hard. It's a great exercise. 10 seconds left, guys, keep it going. Good job, get the last few reps out. Another five seconds. And time, recover. Right, good news, bad news, good news. We've done our three supersets. Bad news, we're about to do every exercise we've just done, one after the other. So six exercises and that's the challenge finished. Guys, great work. You still get 30 seconds rest in between. You don't have to. <laughs> so burpees first. Jake, you got some space. We're gonna do burpees, speed steps, crawl push-up combo, twisting planks, depth jumps, and bicycle crunches. Ready? Burpees to begin with. As soon as you're ready, go. 30 seconds on. So remember, loads of options, but it is the last time through. We wanna go that little bit harder this time. Good work, guys. You're not gonna revisit this exercise. So I'll see if you can squeeze a little bit more out of it this time through. Good job, come on, halfway. Another 15 seconds on this. Great work. Awesome, guys, keep it going. Stay strong, keep that form. Three, two, one, and recover. Good stuff. So I may want to march on the spot for a minute, and keep moving. If your legs don't feel too bad, that's absolutely fine. It means you can go harder on the speed steps. So again, same thing. Out, out, in, in. One, two, three, four, faster and faster. 10 seconds to recover. Think, last set. Three, two, one, let's go. Out, out, in, in. So last time through, see how fast you can get with this. Again, sink into it a little bit. Keep going. Remember, you'll work out your choice unless there's somebody next to you. Then try and go a little bit faster than them. No pressure. 10 seconds left, come on, keep it going. Last 10. You can go even more. Good work, five, four, three, Two, one, excellent. Breather. Core next. So you're onto that cruel push-up combo and then the twisting plank. So take a second, get some fluids on if you need to. Should be challenging by now. As soon as you're ready, knees. Knees or toes, bring yourself down. Got a whole five seconds to recover and then we're back on it. Three, two, one, let's go. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand, good, push. Nice work. Again with this, as you get tired, your back is gonna sag slightly. Try and breathe out as you push up, and this will brace your abs and keep your core a little bit tighter. Good work, guys. 15 seconds left, keep going. Hang in there. 10 seconds. You're gonna have to grind out those last few reps. It's gonna be tough. We will get through it, though. Five, four, Three, two, one, and recover. Twisting planks next. So again, take your time. Another 20 seconds to recover. Should feel challenged by now. Okay, front support position when you're ready. I knew that. Okay, from there. Abs in tight, 30 seconds. Good stuff. 
Be very aware of personal space with this, especially if you've got somebody working out next to you. Good work. <laughs> Nicely done. Looking good team. 10 seconds left. Keep that intensity going. Four, three, two, one. And relax, bring yourself up. Just bring yourself onto your feet. Get your legs ready, you've got depth jumps next and then bicycle crunches, then that is it. Session finished. So I'll take a second. Last two exercises. Fluids on if you need to. It's a good habit to get into in your recovery. Just get a couple of sips in there. Right, depth jumps. 30 seconds, go. Good work. Nice job, guys. Remember, you can cut back anytime you need to. You can go with squats, absolutely fine. We're just keeping the intensity going. Guys, good job, 10 seconds. Last few reps. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Great job. Okay, last exercise. Bicycle crunches. So I'll take a seat when you're ready. Final time. Any option you guys wanna do, completely up to you, last exercise. No pressure. From there, abs in tight, legs up when you're ready. 30 seconds, let's finish this. Go for it. So our last 30 seconds, got a little bit more if you can. It's gonna be tough, it's gonna challenge you, but you're not gonna do this exercise again. Session done after this. 20 seconds left, guys, well done. Good stuff, over halfway now. See how many more you can get out. 10 seconds. So keep pushing, keep going, keep the intensity going. Don't stop short now. Two, one, and relax. Good work, done. Everything done, nailed. We're gonna cool down, take a couple of minutes to cool down, and then we're out of here. So from there, just take one leg. We're gonna stretch hamstrings, take one, and just pull it towards your body gently. Good stuff, so we're keeping a slight bend in there. Ideally, we wanna relax down. If you're finding this too challenging, the leg you've got, I want you to bend it and pull it nearer to your body and try and relax yourself back to the mat. Good stuff. So, any level, as long as you can feel this right in the belly of the hamstrings. You shouldn't feel it in the back of the knee. So leave a slight bend in it. Nice work. From there, take the foot you've got, just place it on the knee and then reach through the other leg and pull it towards your body for a group stretch. And again, same thing, try and relax your upper body, let your head come into the mat, and then just sink into it. Use your breathing. Every time you breathe out, get a little bit deeper into the stretch and get a little bit lower. Right, again, we're looking 30, 60 seconds. If you can feel this working well, then just sink into a little bit deeper and hold the stretch for longer. Nice work, just relax, take the legs back down, and this time take the other leg towards the body, hamstrings. Good stuff. The other thing to do is if you have a look at your foot, what you'll find is it will naturally start to turn out slightly. So you're gonna stretch one part of the hamstring more than the other. Try and keep the leg rotated so it's neutral. Nicely done, just ease that off. And again, foot onto the knee. Reach through, put it all into the body. If you can't feel this across your butt cheek, then what you wanna do is try and get your shin parallel to the floor. So the nearer to straight you can get it to the floor, the more the, the, more the stretch will increase. So the nearer you can get. So the better the angle you can get, so it's literally horizontal with the shin, the more you're gonna get the stretch. Nicely done, guys. Just relax off from there. I want you just to roll on your sides, just face towards me. Keep it nice and tidy. 
Good stuff. And then you're going to take your top leg and just pull the leg back into a quad stretch. Good work. Yeah. Nice job. So to increase the stretch, the key is pushing the hips forward and trying to keep the knees together rather than tugging on the leg and taking it further. So. It's a nice stretch to do at the end as well because we get to lie down after all that hard work. And if they're relaxed, just roll yourself onto your other side. Exactly the same thing. stuff if you can relax your upper body that will help as well so it's easier to lay your head on your arm and again just start to ease the stretch off relax let go of the foot and then just roll yourself over and come onto your feet and so for all those push-ups I'm just gonna take the hands back your hands on your lower back Lift the chest, and just open up, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Good stuff. So I should feel this across the chest. And then from there, if you can, just lace your fingers together, and stretch a little bit further. Again, loads of options. You may not necessarily be able to do this, so I'll go with the option that you can feel working. Good stuff from there. I just want you to take your arms out. Level with your shoulders. Hold hands with the person next to you. <laughs> Again, a slightly different region of the chest when you're doing this. And then just grab one elbow, doesn't matter which, take the arm back over the head for triceps. Good stuff. Again, to increase the stretch, just lift the head when you're doing it. Lovely. Switch arms. And just let that tension go, relax, take the arms down by your side, circle the shoulders back. Every muscle worked. Outstanding. Great work. That's it. Done. Obviously to do a lot of running, park run, use the gym a lot. I just went actually more than what I used to go. And it has actually helped me massively. And I feel like, um, like I said, reading all the stuff that it does, the endorphins, it makes you feel good. And it definitely does. Do you know what? Because of what uh, I've done through work and what I know is out there, I was definitely considering. I actually Googled help regarding uh, well, a relationship breakup, basically. So what, what would you do in a relationship breakup? And there's help. And there's always help out there. You know, you've got to pay for it. And there's also stuff on the NHS which you don't have to, but there's also things out there, but um, luckily I didn't need to go that far. Um, but yeah, definitely doing all the physical activities, the running, just going to the gym with my pals and stuff. It's, it's so important and it definitely helps. I wouldn't, I, for me, that's the way you should go. 